Well, we're here in one of the sites, newer sites actually, and so we just, I just dug up one of those, um, the disc thing and a fragment, and a fragment, and that's the disc thing. And also, when I put my metal detector down, I, I had a reading, so there you have it right there, another shrapnel shell. And you can see that rotating band's missing again. And um, I just had a leaf move that a little bit. And what I was talking about, stick, you know, checking with the stick is, well, here's the front end of it. And you just put it in. And well, it goes in all the way. So that's it's a pretty good indication. It's pretty safe. So I'm just going to flip it over. And whoa. You can clearly tell which way it hit the ground with some dirt in there. That's pretty cool. Not a 75 millimeter shrapnel shell. That, okay. I'll show you the spot I found the fuse number two. And it was right here. Right next to these rocks, so that's probably why you know it was all deformed and everything. So you know it was just in it this direction and uh, apparently there's still something here um, let me check the tone doesn't come out and uh, doesn't come out in tone so it's probably iron or something like that so let's get closer here yeah. this is exactly why you would want to recheck your hole once in a while Get this out of the way. And, oh, oh, there you go. It's the tube thing, flash tube thing that goes in the center of the shell. Oh, that's cool. Let's check this hole. And I think that's it for here. I think we'll just look around and see what we can find. Oh, let's go this way. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of tree branches here, so we always have to duck down, and it hurts our back, but that's cool, I guess. Cool exercise. There's a crap right there. Uh, been finding lots of shrapnel shells uh, over there in that ridge area, and uh, not much actually around here. This is just one of the sites, and all the way over there, around over there, there's a huge open area with, where we found the majority of the shells. So, haven't checked much around here yet, so maybe we can find something. Large trees are good indication there might be something because uh, they've been here for a while, so uh, I guess pretty much it. I don't know. I'm not finding anything much here. So let's move back. Oh. I got a signal here. Oh, I don't know. That low tone kind of gives is like usually a shrapnel ball or lead or some dense material. So Probably a shrapnel shell. Another shrapnel ball or something like that, probably. Oh, wait. Oh, what is this? Oh, dude! It's a... It's a fuse adapter. Oh, wow. See, this is the brass part right here. And this metallic part is the fuse adapter. And... Well, it's in horrible condition, but... shouldn't probably hit it much but yeah there you go the, the white stuff right here you see is the resin and uh, oh wait oh there's nothing in here yeah so just the fuse adapter in the very bottom base of the fuse let's see if, we can, if there's something else in here uh, nope I think that's it uh, wait no that was just a pickaxe 
Uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to find the remaining part of the fuse. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's the model. Scoreville model 1907M. Awesome. And there's the, this is where the, supposed to, yeah, there's the serial number. LOT 23 uh, GA 19317, I guess. That's cool. Well, I think I'll stop here and see if I can find the rest of the fuse. So, yep, that's it.